The discovery of a mid-10th century grave in Freyerslu, Denmark, enthralled archaeologists. It was a routine assignment, but what Mareda Skiftebaga and her team discovered stunned the archaeological world. There was some loose soil, and in this soil, we found some iron and uh, small objects. To the trained eye of the archaeologists, they were potentially extraordinary finds. And once cleaned, their initial suspicions were confirmed. The team had discovered exquisitely decorated pieces of Viking jewelry. But this wasn't jewelry for a man or woman. What the archaeologists had uncovered were pieces of a thousand-year-old gold-covered horse bridle, a status symbol for a prominent Viking. Now, new forensic analysis has revealed he may actually have moved amongst royalty. And Mareda Skiftebagger suspected that a bridal of such astounding quality could only have been a gift from the highest ruler in Denmark, the king himself. If you're up in that elite milieu, you must have been familiar to the king. And the king needed to have a lot of men that he could count on. And I think that the man from Freyersle was one of them. The date of the bridal, around 950 AD, even suggested a name for the king. The Freyerslu Viking may have been allied with possibly the greatest Viking warrior of all and one of the most legendary royals from the Viking Age, King Gorm the Old. Up until Gorm's rule, Scandinavia was comprised of small regions run by local warrior chiefs, rather than actual unified kingdoms. But historians believe that the region Gorm ruled was much too small for his grand ambitions. He wanted to rule everyone. So he seized district upon district, merging Viking fiefdoms, until almost all of the Danish peninsula was under his sway. It was a land grab that has led him to be considered the first king of Denmark. Gorm the Old is known as the Old because he's the first person in his dynasty. He's certainly gone down in history as the first king of Denmark. If the elite Viking warrior from Freyerslu lived in the 10th century, as the bridal found in his burial suggests, then he was likely one of King Gorm's trusted lieutenants.